Welcome to the WTFFF 3D Printing Podcast, Ask Anything, Episode 4, where designers and hosts Tom and Tracy Hazard answer your questions about the who, where, why, how, and what of fused filament fabrication. Hi, this is Tom. And this is Tracy. And this is WTFFF 3D Printing Podcast, Ask Us Anything segment. Well, ask us almost anything. That's true. So today's question is from New Orleans. That's oh, kind of cool. Yeah. The Bayou. Um, yeah. And uh, it's Anthony. And he asks, how much does humidity affect our filament? You know, do we keep it in our plastic bags? What do we do? You know, it's a good question. You know, I've heard a lot more from other people that they're very concerned about humidity. From what I've seen, because I've been to a couple of filament manufacturers. So... It's definitely important that your filament is wrapped in plastic with a silica packet when it gets to you because there's a lot of humidity that can happen in transport. And you and I both know from our experience with making a lot of plastic parts in over in Asia, especially like right. if you're getting your filament from there, going over on that boat, it, it has an effect over time. So that's yeah. definitely important from a transport situation. But Plastics from in general, that's true. We have learned that plastics do absorb... Um, moisture over time in general yeah. but in our experience 3D printing when we get a new spool of filament when we start to use it we unwrap it from the bag yeah. and we leave it exposed to the air and we don't enclose it in plastic again but I don't know if we really have a good answer for Anthony because, I mean, he lives in New Orleans. It's pretty moist down there. And we live it, in California, and it it's wet. pretty dry here. It is. <laughs> we have probably a much more stable yeah. environment in terms of humidity than people in other parts of the country. And especially this past year. I mean, it's been extremely dry in our environment. We probably had the air conditioning on every month you know, for the, of the entire year. of the yeah. entire year, at least for part of the month. So it's been really even drier here than it normally is. So that, you know, it may be a reason why we're having such good uh, results from our smart extruders and from our filament in general. So I, I can't say for sure that we have an answer. So this is a question that we may have to do some more research on yeah. and then have some guests on our main podcast yeah. to interview who may know more about it. Although I guess one thing that we have done with your visits, Tracy, to filament manufacturers, yes. they have told you, I believe, that they don't think it's a big problem. No. And that it's more a problem for them in their manufacturing process. Exactly, that if they don't get the moisture out of it in the manufacturing process or if it gets too much within that process, then it's more of an issue. But but it is a transport issue. So I do understand that the filaments from Asia have more problems and so uh, because they're on the water. So they definitely need to be sealed. I agree with that. Now, the only other thing I'd say is that, you know, we primarily use PLA. Yep. We don't have a lot of experience with ABS, um, but in terms of one other filament we do use, PVA as a dissolvable yes. support material, that, that one. material uh, we were warned is incredibly hydroscopic, which means it will soak up any moisture around it. So that's, I think, the only filament we do keep in well, and a hips as well. locked bag. And hips as well, we've been yeah, keeping in the right. bag as well. So that's those right. two items, and mostly but, because of their characteristics as, as um, sure. chemical based. But everything else is, is left exposed, and we've had no ill effects ourselves from it. So, yeah. uh, you know, I guess that's our answer subject to, you know, new information <laughs> and changes well, in the and future. You, and you guys listening out there, you need to chime in. Leave yeah, some let comments. Us know. What's your experience? Yeah. Go to our, our website to the, even though if it's not a question to ask us, you just want to give us some information, you can still go to our Ask Us yeah. page and use that speak pipe button to record a message to us. You can also do that on our Facebook page. Uh, yeah. Or you can, you know, email us. There's uh, addresses on our website. Email or make comments. Make comments make in comments, both in iTunes right. and in YouTube and other places like that. So, so let's, let's continue to talk about this issue and, yeah. and, see what other people have to say about it and, and you know, clarify our, our answer as time goes. Yep. So thanks for listening and uh, ask us your questions. Make sure you come back to the Has Design, H-A-Z-Z, design.com website and uh, ask us a question. Ask us anything. So until next time, this is Tom. And this is Tracy. And this is the WTFFF 3D Printing Podcast.